so now uh, fitting the neural net model so we have two hidden layers and the number of hidden units in second layer is four and in third layer is two so we are using the configuration 13 4 2 1 that means 13 is the predictive variables there are 13 predictor variables four is the four is the hidden unit in the second layer and two is the number of hidden units in the third layer and fourth is the output which we want to predict that is the mid mid v median uh, median value of the house so 13 variables are there so let's check it out data is trained data frame on which we want to fit the model so let's do so it has converged now let's plot it so here we can see yeah so we can see here these are 13 variables cream z in on all those and this is the predictor variable med v on the right hand side so first layer has all the predictor variables and the last layer has the target variable these blue lines are the bias terms and these lines are the weights this is the second layer this is the third layer the third layer has two units second layer has four unit and first layer will always have the number of predictor variables which you you have chosen for fitting the training model and the last is having the target variables so how this neural network works you already know but i will just give a glimpse on uh, just to remind so mid v will come out like this 0 0.6716 so mid v is equal to bias term that is 0 0.677 plus 0 0.396 times this hidden unit minus 1.66 times this again med v is equal to bias term this is 0 0.677 plus 0 0.39694 times this variable this value will come up from here plus minus 1.68 times this this will come from here how so this will come from these four units and this bias term so this will be equal to minus 0 0.775 to 4 bias minus 0 0.2443 times this plus 0 0.94569 times this plus 2.00817 times this plus 1.26 times this so each of this line means these and these are connected by this way so this will be multiplied by this then it will come to this so this is like w naught this is w naught plus w1 x1 w2 x2 so w naught plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 for this unit is w naught w1 x1 w2 x2 w3 x3 w4 x4 these weights are different so w1 of here will be different so this will be w11 this will be w you can take different values so that doesn't matter but you need to understand what these weight means and how these are connected so this is neural network so this is the network and this is back propagation algorithm which we use to find the uh, hidden units and then the weights we are trying to optimize to get the mid value they're trying uh, they're trying to get the mid value as close as the actual values so these are the we we just inject the values for each of these variables then we the neural network try to fit in all these weights on in this first between the first layer and the second layer then second and the third layer and third and fourth test out all these weights in such a way that the mid value for each of the row is as close as possible to the actual values so this will be the predicted value uh, this will be the predicted value of the target variable so i think this is clear for now for the this plotting let's check it out for the 
testing data set predictions so predict we use the function compute and then this model and then the comma test data frame and then this we are taking all these 13 variables except the 14th one which is the target variable so that is not being used for the predictions that's obvious so predictions this and then we are finding the predictions and actual values and we are actually unscaling it so this is the prediction values so this one is the prediction value and this is the unscaling method because before we scaled it and converted now we have to unscale and again the actual values also get unscaled like this you can pause the video maybe sometime in between and you can just note it down um, right so you can find the mean squared error like this sum prediction minus actual values the square and then dividing by the total number of test data of uh, rows so you get the mean squared error here that is quite less it is almost zero so neural network is fitting very well on this data set and its predicted values is almost the same for each of the uh, actual values of the med v let's let's plot the actual values and the predicted values on the right hand side you can check it predicted and the actual values and then fit the line there we can do that again no we need not do like that so so mean squared error is there and you can just plot and plot function you know how to plot test data frame dollar med v this is the actual values and these are the prediction values you see the almost these are the error between them is almost zero and that is you can see by msc right and also in the diagram you can see that uh, the they are following a straight uh, this line of slope one that is 45 degree line so neural network works very well on some data and sometimes it does overfit so in order that this data does not or this model does not overfit you should divide this data set into many parts and then fit uh, the model into all the parts except the one for which you will predict so this is actually the cross validation which I will uh, uh, do in the next few videos and uh, do the cross validation for neural networks in R here I will explain that how to do the cross validation for that and uh, that is helpful because uh, that cross validation will help in uh, understanding for, for the neural networks to understand better the data set so that it knows about each of the uh, part of the data set because right now I'm just taking one part of the data that is which is sampled out for 400 observations this could be anything out of the 506 observations but this is uh, this is one time data and you're fitting the data on this and test data may be may be different from the trained data entirely different so if it is dirty data but so that's why we what we in the cross validation what we do is we divide the whole data set into many parts and then do it so let, uh, i will just discuss that thing in the next uh, videos so thank you for watching